All right. Kyle Mohan Racing, KMR, Mazda Tricks, welcome back to the Rotary Channel. We got the brap. We're going to talk about some rotary parts. They're dirty, they're crusty, and I have bad lighting, so we got to put up with it all. So I'm just letting you know on the front end. But what we're going to talk about is Series 4, Series 5 oil pumps. There's two different versions, and how to optimize your oil pump galleries. Um, if you're building a race motor, this is pretty standard. Basic oil pump gallery porting. They've optimized the flow and increased the volume. A lot of times you've got some really sharp edges. You don't want to accidentally intrude into uh, what would be your uh, main insertion point of the oil pump shaft. You want to make sure you've still got that little bit of land. That one got cut a little bit of close. And I think this one could have been maximized a little more out into this area, but overall very nicely done. Increasing the flow volume and beveling all the edges to reduce aeration and maximize volumetric flow. Now, if you're familiar with the stock one, you can see actually how rough the casting is in there and how it's got sharp edges. There's actually a little inset here. Um, it does work good to suck volume in because it is a expanding, um, expanding hole, uh, which, which works good to increase uh, flow. Um, and as it expands, increase volume. However, uh, we've seen via dyno results, we've seen via race results and uh, actual track testing, not only at Mazda Tricks, but across the board and a lot of race motors for many, many years, that cleaning up these galleries, cleaning up the casting, cleaning up the sharp edges, and increasing a little bit of that gallery area is actually very helpful. And there's a couple reasons you got to consider. One would be as you're building race motors, a lot of the times you're expanding your oil systems by running multi-window bearings or race bearings, which have greater tolerances, which means the oil pump needs to be able to deliver more volume. So it's not that the factory didn't do a good job with their design. It's that the racers often ask for more. And one of the ways the factory gave us more was with the turbo oil pumps versus the NA oil pumps. The NA oil pumps are actually very shallow. I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but it's not a very deep pump or very deep gear. You can see, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the gears, substantially shallower gear in the naturally aspirated Series 4 and Series 5 motors. And this is a total pump issue, so you're just getting more total volume and possible pressure by running a Turbo 2 pump. Now, you can't run a 93 to 95 pump in here. 93 to 95 pumps were side feeds. Maybe I'll do another video just comparing all the different oil pumps, the RX-8 pumps, FD3S pumps, Turbo 2 pumps, NA pumps, 12A pumps. But right now we're talking about the oil galleries. This can be done on any generation. Clean up those oil galleries, remove harsh, sharp edges, and don't pour it into unnecessary areas you don't want to knock those edges off or expand outward. Your pump needs to properly seal. Um, but drain back's been ported, oil pump gallery ported, and uh, although this one came in with an NA pump, we're going to upgrade to a turbo pump so it can seal a little bit more volume. But the overall, the bearing wear looked pretty good. It's got some multi-window bearings. So what would have been a non-multi-window bearing motor with sharp edges and a small pump becomes a late mod gear, multi-window, high volume, oil possible delivery motor, and it's able to, to deliver that oil volume because you upgrade to a turbo two pump. And then the system's able to regulate this pressure because I would recommend running then a increased pressure regulator and also by shimming the regulator in the front cover. So I guess that'll have to be a follow-up video on oil pressure regulators as well. So I hope that's a little BRAP information. I know it's dirty. These are real parts. This is stuff we're taking apart at Mazda Tricks. Get all your parts from Mazda Tricks. Get your oil pumps. Get your gasket sets. Get your O-rings. This is where we make the magic happen. Tested and tried. This isn't exactly what we did specifically, but I still give this a thumbs up. Nice work. 
and a nice build, just in for a quick little service and some upgrades. Nice Hylamar. There's lots of things I like about this build. All right, that's wrap. We're going to wrap this one up. I hope everybody appreciates the little bit of tech information on this one. Um, continuing to just try to grow the channel. And eventually, maybe I can get a, a real camera and some real lights or at least manage to clean up the floors before I do these videos. Although, I do like dropping to the floor occasionally for the uh, comparison. So, any questions, feel free to drop them below and I'll do my best to answer if it's not covered in the video. And make sure to check out the KMR stores. Got some new merch dropping. We got some rotary templates, rotary parts. We're working on some new stuff. And uh, like I said, always, always check out Mazda Tricks. That's where we're at. And uh, that's where all the parts are. Brap out. <laughs>